in this segment we're going to be installing five different grab bars using five different methods in this drywall wall. This is something that you will be called on on a regular basis to install grab bars in a typical residential home. So we've got blocking in the center part of this wall like we showed you a minute ago. The rest of the wall is regular studs. So we're going to show you several techniques for installing grab bars. The first bar we're going to put on this wall is another warm to the touch bio coat grab bar by Ponte Giulio. And we're going to install it where we have blocking in the wall. Uh, if you followed the technique we spoke of in the last video, uh, you will know how we installed the blocking. And so we've got solid wood blocking behind the wall to screw our grab bar into. We're installing this bar at 36 inches off the floor, which is standard height for horizontal grab bars. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make sure we're level. Then we're going to drill our pilot holes. And then we're going to install our screws. And then finally, snap the covers in place. There you have it. As you can see, installing a grab bar when you've got wood blocking in the wall is very simple. Next, we're going to show you some examples of how to install grab bars when you don't have blocking in the wall. For our next installation, we're going to employ blocking without opening the wall. We talked about wood blocking inside the wall that we use when the wall is open. Sometimes the wall is not open, but we don't have anything we can fasten the grab bar to. A prime example of this would be installing a grab bar in a mobile home. The studs in a lot of walls inside of mobile homes often are smaller than 2x4 and oftentimes they have paneling or thin drywall on the mobile home walls. So none of the hollow wall anchors that we talked about would work. However, what does work is doing a wood block outside the wall. Take a 2x6, chamfer the edges, we paint it and we install it outside the wall like so and then that gives us the opportunity to fasten a grab bar to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to we're going to locate this. We've got our stud buddy right here indicating where the stud is and make a mark right here. I'm going to drill a pilot hole. I'm going to make sure it's level. Now, as you can see, we've got blocking outside the wall. Now it's just a matter of attaching our grab bar. We're going to center it up, make sure it's level. Mark our holes. And then it's just a matter of putting our screws into the blocking. Same as before, it's just exposed wood blocking rather than concealed wood blocking. And then once again, just snap the covers in place. And there you have it. You have the Wiggets PVC coated with the chrome polished bands installed in exterior wood blocking. For the next installation, we're going to use the residential wingets fasteners and a wingets 
uh, satin stainless knurled finished grab bar. So for the, the residential wingets, we marked the centers ahead of time. This is a 12 inch grab bar. We've marked centers 12 inches apart on a level line. Where we want the bar to go, we can tell from our stud buddy here that we don't have any studs at the location of where the grab bar is going. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our adhesive pads, peel the backing off, punch the center out, and then we're going to place it with the tab pointing towards the other end of the grab bar. So once we get these pads on the wall, the next step is to drill the three quarter inch holes. Next step, we get our wingets out and we assemble them to the grab bar. We put our two long bolts through the top and bottom holes. Push our plate over the bolts. and then push our wings onto the end like so. Now we have to get the, the bolt started and pull to make sure it's firmly started. So at this point we've got our anchor started on both ends. So we start to feed them into our holes Like so, to pull back on the outer part so that we can get them threaded in. Thread them in until these fingers, these flanges, are right almost flush with the wall. At which point it's helpful to have a screwdriver or another device to get them pushed the rest of the way through. Now, before you push them all the way in, you peel the backing off of this adhesive pad, like so, so that the adhesive actually helps to hold the grab bar in place. Then you finish pushing them the rest of the way in, until the grab bar is even with the wall, like so. Once they go all the way in, you know that the, the arms are opened up behind the drywall. Then to tighten them back up, you pull out on it. Have to snug them up by hand. The reason you have to snug them up by hand is because you want to make sure that the, the uh, arms on the back of the drywall are not moving and are contacting the back of the drywall. Okay. And we're going to double check it for level. Once you start hearing that squeaking, you know they're tightening. And then only at that point do you get your impact driver and finish tightening them down. Last step is to simply pop the flanges in place. And you're done. For our next bar, we're going to use the Moen Secure Mount hollow wall anchors to install a standard brush stainless grab bar. We've got the locations marked. We've got our stud finder to determine where our studs are. This tells us that we do not have a stud at either location where we're going to put the bar. So we require an inch and a quarter hole in the drywall for this particular type of anchor. We're going to use our Apache inch and a quarter drill bit. For our next step, we have a little hook that we hook onto this piece, incline it so. Push the anchor into the wall, 
there's an indicator here that points up. Once we get it back to where we need it to be, we unhook our little handle, do the same thing on the other side. Then the next step is our plate. Now anytime you use an anchor, before you put the anchor in the wall, you want to make sure that the bar you're using is compatible with the anchor. Now you'll notice that this plate has three threaded holes for screws. Now it says to point this way towards the bar, but the particular bar that I'm using has three round holes and three slotted holes because the slotted holes give me a, a little more wiggle room, I'm going to turn this around and point it that way. Now, before I go any further, I'm going to make sure that all the holes line up. Okay, it looks like this side's lining up well, this side, and then we will remove that. And once it's tight, you put the screw back in. And you want to get all six of your screws started before you tighten any of them. Now one drawback to turning the anchors around backwards so that we are using the slotted screws instead of the round screws he puts this screw directly behind the grab bar, which makes tightening it up a bit difficult, which is where the Leatherman comes in. We can use the Phillips bit. And these bars have twist on flanges, which are really an added button. So there you have it. The grab bar installation using the Mullen secure mount into drywall. For the final grab bar on this wall, we're going to install another Wingett's uh, satin stainless knurled grab bar. This time we're going to use the togglers. We're going to use two of the quarter inch togglers on one end and three 3 16 togglers on the other end. So the first thing we want to do is mark the holes. We've already got our centers in place there and there. So there's the first hole. There's the second hole. So the togglers go in like this. Pull straight back. Snug it up against the drywall, good and tight. And then snap it off. Okay, now I've run into a couple of, of unforeseen circumstances. Uh, I realize that I don't have a third 3 16th toggler with me. And so I've already drilled this hole. So what am I going to do? Well, it just so happens that I have a residential single pole wing it, and so I'm going to use it. To use it, I can drill this hole out to three quarters of an inch. And I've also noted when I drilled the hole that these right here were right up against the stud. So because I've got a stud right here on the end, I can use a regular wood screw on the end. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to expand this hole to three quarters of an inch. Stick this through here. I get it started. And I'll finish threading this in. Tighten it up just like we did earlier on the residential wingets. A little pressure out on the bar as we tighten it up. Start to get a little bit of resistance before we go all the way. We'll get our screw started on the toddlers. 
with all of these anchors, I recommend that you snug them up by hand before you use any power tools on them. There you have it. Everything snug. Because we've got a stud here at the end. Put a wood screw right there. And snapping the covers on. And we're good to go. So there you have five different grab bars installed in five different ways on this drywall wall. As you can see, you have to be flexible. You have to be willing to make adjustments as you go along. But I hope this has given you a good background, a good demonstration of some of the different techniques we use to install grab bars.